Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I worked on this drawing. It's colored pencil drawing on wood. And um, I'm going to show you how I can combine markers with colored pencil. I've decided to title this uh, painting uh, The Alignment because I wanted uh, to create the magical feeling mm. in this painting uh, to symbolize the unity of body, mind and soul. As you can see, uh, this artwork uh, has a lot of symbols uh, referencing astrology. Uh, when I traveled to Spain, I took pictures of ancient Islamic art and uh, cities like Cordoba, Granada and Seville have unbelievably beautiful ancient mosques and churches. In Granada in particular, if you travel there, you can see the sophistication of 10th and 11th century Arab culture expressed in detailed writing about surgery, surger, surgical tools, astronomical observations, and the invention of instruments for observing stars. Also, artists chiseled wall and ceiling decorations in repetitive patterns that consisted of uh, symbols and writing. I think the most fascinating part is Islamic architecture in Spain and um, it's an incredible um, tourist uh, attraction in, in Spain. So I found these astronomical instruments fascinating um, and I took lots of pictures um, to use later on in my art. And so one of uh, the images became the background for my colored pencil drawing. Um, I think the circular movement around the model's head creates yet another layer of meaning, similar to the depictions of saints with golden halos above their heads. I also crowned the woman with the stars and moon tiara. Um, I think it adds beauty. Uh, to my um, drawing and uh, this crown um, ties in together with the rest of the drawing. And um, she looks like she is frozen in time listening to the ocean waves inside the seashell. And so with this artwork I wanted to recreate magical feelings to symbolize the unity of body, mind and soul. While we can give physical presence to objects, it's difficult to assign a particular way to depict the spiritual realm. This is where artists come in with imagination and sensitivity to observe and to show the world differently. Um, this drawing also symbolizes a lot of uh, my personal growth and um, that in turn gives me daily inspiration for my art in general and this drawing in particular. I always begin drawing in one or two colors and uh, I go around the image and uh, work on the shadows in one color. And then I try to, to do the same uh, filling in the background using one or two colors only. I do it for unity. Um, as well as for the overall design because I can create volume in one color only and then I would be just uh, adding uh, more color to it later on. 
I keep my uh, camera at a very steep angle when I shoot these videos. That's why you see the proportions are quite off. It happens because of the rotation of the camera. I'm drawing out the eyes, but I also pay attention to the position of the eyes. They need to line up on a line. And the same is true about lining up the features of the nose and the mouth. You know, to check on the position of uh, the features, I often rotate my canvas um, to see if I have mistakes that I need to fix. When I draw the lace, I use the same principle of using one or two colors to establish the deepest shadows only. And then I use white to mark the highlights. So I have the darks and I have the lights. And um, what's left is to create uh, transitions between the two poles. I work on the dress the same way. I uh, try to figure out where I have the deepest darks and um, I shade them in first. This way I create volume.
when I come back to drawing the lace, I try to keep my edges uh, harder to create a texture while keeping softer uh, transitions uh, shading the dress and it creates contrast visually.
You know, colored pencil work requires lots of uh, patience. And uh, sometimes when I uh, begin to lose my patience, I basically leave the drawing for a few days and work on something else. And then I come back to it. So that happened several times as I worked on the background because it has a lot of writing and um, just uh, different elements that I needed to repeat precisely. And for that, I worked uh, with very sharp colored pencils. This is drawing on wood, and so this wood has um, some texture. It's not as obvious, but these colored pencils, um, I used polychromos. They, uh, they worked much better than uh, softer pencils because they kept their uh, point, you know, sharp point, a lot longer. So I used a combination of uh, harder polychromos to work on the details and uh, very soft prisma colors to fill, to fill in large areas. Also, if you've noticed, I uh, put clean wh white paper under my hand not to smudge the drawing as I keep working on it. As I kept drawing the figure, I was thinking of, uh, I had several choices how I would proceed drawing out the crown, and I wasn't sure till the last moment. And then I decided just to make, um, you know, I decided to use markers to create white and silver spots as opposed to drawing out every small stone. This decision was made because the drawing is quite small and it would be close to impossible to, you know, shade a tiny stone. So I decided to make them by basically playing with the markers and uh, making the dots. The silver marker really looks like silver and so when I uh, look at my drawing and I rotate it, it's very silvery and I, I like this effect a lot. Now all is left is the seashell uh, to draw and once again it's the same process drawing out the shadows first and then marking the highlights and then uh, creating texture in between the two.
Here I use a different kind of stroke, it's not parallel, it's not cross hatching. I use um, strokes like uh, doing little circles to resemble the texture of the seashell. Also there is no golden marker used here. Um, the golden parts in the background that you see, this is just a mix of uh, brownish colors with some white on top in, in some areas to create the highlights. I needed to create a much brighter highlight on the letters and I used the marker for that as well because colored pencil just didn't do it, it wasn't as bright as it, I needed it to be. If you use the spray varnish, please don't, don't use crayon because it often gives um, terrible results. Use professional grade uh, spray varnish. And here's the result. Um, this drawing is done on a cradled wood board. I like it a lot more than rather than drawing on paper because it gives me a very permanent result. And considering that I'm using high quality, light fast colored pencils, this drawing would last uh, for many years. I always use the final fixative uh, in the end. It protects the drawing from moisture and the UV light, and it also evens out the surface and makes it look beautiful. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you, you find it useful, please share it, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.